I don't think there's a festival quite like this anywhere else. My name is Tim Borlase. I'm the co-chair of the Labrador Creative Arts Festival. The festival was created by Noreen Hyten and me in 1974. Labrador in the 70s was, there was a lot more isolation than there is now. Young people often did not have a chance to be engaged with the arts because there was just nobody in their home community that was comfortable teaching it. I feel this festival makes sure there is at least some arts programming going on in, in every school. We hear about what they're thinking about their own life in their community and you're able to explore very meaningful yet controversial ideas or situations and that is made for a really interesting series of plays. Although the plays themselves were a great vehicle for sharing experiences and important events in the communities, there wasn't an opportunity for students to really learn specific crafts from professional artists, so we introduced them. And this gives them an opportunity to interact uh, really closely with the young people that are performing. One of the things we've noticed is that it builds self-confidence. I think that's important. I mean, you don't have to be a performer. You can be a writer, you could be a technician, you could work on lights and sound, you could be a person that looks after the costumes, makes the set. There's lots of opportunities, and it brings young people together to make friends.